This is a collective reading for Leo, July 2021. Keep in mind, this is a collective reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. It is for Leo as a whole. So let's see what you need to know here, July 2021. So there's uh, a lot of water here, if you look, um, a lot of blue and a lot of water. First off, that's just what I see. Um, there's some sort of renewal or rebirth or um, some kind of challenge that you're overcoming here. Um, definitely being like more receptive um, to information, um, to healing, to um, new endeavors. Definitely moving away from something here. Um, like re like rediscovering yourself and um doing something new, um, doing something um that you you normally don't do, um, stepping forward into like some kind of new new path, um, becoming almost like a student, if you will. Um Yeah, kind of being in, in a way like a useful, um, think about it like a useful student, you're like um, doing something new, going to like, almost like you're going to school, although it's not like you're going to school, but you're doing, um, maybe you're going to school, but maybe not. It's just that it's like the, the brand new for you, stepping into the doors for the very first time. And that's going really well. I mean, this is like a new achievement for you. Um, yeah, it's really looking looking up for you. Okay. So I think you're doing um, something very important here. Um, seeing really um, the path is going to bring maybe more contribution, something that's going to be um, more of a fulfillment, more of a more important role for the entire world. Um, something that can um so we got world peace here so I, I really just get the sense that you are doing something um very important um stepping into a role that can bring more change and then we have virtue so i see you be more virtuous um says to live a morally pure, pure and excellent life. I think that you are doing that, doing something brand new, stepping out of your comfort zone. And then over here we have things that maybe uh, a little bit of a challenge this month, um, acceptance. So accepting yourself, accepting the circumstances, um, power. So maybe stepping into your own role and having power, maybe accepting the power of others. Faithfulness. Um, I think you're gonna need to have some faith, some faith um, and trust. Okay, I'm going to take a card here from the Heal Yourself reading cards. Okay. 
we have unleash your creativity. So I think you're going to have some projects, new projects, new um, endeavors, like I've said. Yeah, definitely going, I'm getting, getting, going to the next level, going to the next level of something. So expanding on a project, getting more in depth with it. Yeah, I'm just getting like, you're, you're like becoming a new person. It's like you're rebirthing yourself, which is really cool. Um, Please some cards here for me. Spirit messages. Okay, so we have ground yourself. It says being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirits to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. We also, um, just what calls to me is that she's got the um the the tree on her back right so um which is going into the earth grounded um expanding um what i'm getting here too is maybe reconnecting with the earth in some way we had before world peace and i think somehow you're you're reconnecting with nature reconnecting with the planet um, finding your role in that, what can you give, what can you contribute, something to that effect. And then we have find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then it is a, an ide ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So finding your center, um, you, I see a clock here. Um, so finding yourself, I really think that you are in a process of finding yourself, rediscovering yourself, taking some time out to ask the big questions. And then we have inspired passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So yet again, it says, you know, setting new goals. So finding some new inspiration, passion, um, new projects, new goals, um, rediscovering who you are, um, contributing with the world more, finding, you know, what can you do? How, how can you help? So all these things are important and are happening this month or have been happening. And I'm going to take a card here from the soul's journey lesson that so I'll show you um, what is kind of the main lesson here, the main focus for this month in July. We have success. Awesome, right? We had that um, at the beginning too. It was looking very successful. Um, so it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. 
So success is yours this month. Um, all these new projects, these new paths that you are taking, they're going to be very successful and very abundant for you. So yay, Leo, I'm so excited. This month looks very good for you. And hopefully I will see you next month. I do plan on doing these every month. 